the author of the fabulous Mum's Handbook, Liz Fraser, and also no. the, the Yummy Mummies the yummy Guidebook. Mummies yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. I, <laughs> <thought you laughs> <prepared> <laughs> <parents>. <laughs> I didn't know about the other one. <laughs> that's another one, but I'm sure it's good. So that's Liz Fraser and also the French political journalist Agnès Poirier. Well, we are told that. I mean, I haven't had a cesarean section. I've had three children, but, you know, we are told six weeks you won't be able to... Women are different. Maybe she mm. was very fit before she had the baby. Maybe she's just had a very quick recovery. I mean, my reaction to seeing photographs is to think, I mean, she just looks incredible. She looks fantastic, yeah. and, and also, uh, you know, like Agnes says, you know, in France, this is no story. Here, we're just aghast at this. And we don't know her personal background. I don't know. Maybe she was with the baby all morning, feeding the baby. Then she's gone to do a few meetings, and then she's going back to the baby. Maybe she's not. Um, but we are we are very uh, judgmental in this country. We have a definite idea of what a woman should do after she gives birth. And really, every woman is different. Um, I stayed at home after my first one mainly, but I went back to work within two weeks. Just the odd day here and there after my second. But even there, I feel I have to defend myself. If, if I say I went back to work after two weeks, I can already feel people going, oh, you know, you should have been at home with your baby. I mean, I, I think I'm fascinated by the different attitudes between the different European countries. I think in, our, I think in this country we have quite a good balance. You can, you know, do either or. Um, but I do feel the judgment. I think the judgment is really there. You, you do. You feel that you have to say, oh, well, I needed the money to pay the mortgage or, you know, and it, and it really, it should be up to you and your baby and your circumstance to decide what you want to do. And childcare in this country is, is not brilliant, actually, and it's very expensive. Um, so often if, if you're paying for childcare and you're working, in fact, it's evening out at about zero for many people. I, I would just like to say that I do think it is very, very sad if you have to you know, give, I don't think give away, but if your baby has to go into full-time childcare from so early on, I don't think that's such a great idea. I think if you can combine it in some way, and as I say, we don't actually know how much work she's doing. <laughs> We're out of time. Agnes Poirier and Liz Fraser, thank you both very thank much. You.